The laser fund eliminates the losses which outperforms the actual market. In this video episode, I'm going to address what if your retirement plan paid you up to, let's say 10% uh, with your money, whatever the market did, but guaranteed you that you wouldn't lose money when the market went down. I'll explain and that is not too good to be true. That's how indexed universal life actually works. So I'm Doug Andrew. I've been helping people optimize assets and minimize taxes now for north of 48 and a half years. My favorite financial vehicle, uh, without question, to help people accumulate access and transfer their money totally income tax free is uh, what I call a laser fund. Now, I've been very blessed in my life to have authored 13 books so far. My 11th book is still flying off of our warehouse shelves. Uh, we send out about a thousand of these a month. It's titled The Laser Fund. And so what is a laser fund? Well, it's a properly structured and uh, funded, maximum funded indexed universal life insurance contract. I would say that over 99% of IUL policies sold in America are not structured to do what I'm gonna show you here. So uh, that's really sad, but uh, I wanna gift you a copy of this 300 page book at the end of this episode. So stay with me. And uh, this channel, Three Dimensional Wealth, is not about me. This is about you and your brighter future. I love to teach high concepts coupled with high touch, right brain and left brain. So let's talk about uh, what I said at the beginning. What if uh, I agreed or a company agreed to pay you up to, let's say, 10% when the market was going up? Uh, but when the market went down, they guaranteed you you would not lose due to those market downturns. That is indexing, that's not an index fund. So let's talk about how this works because I began in 1974 and I've always said the stock market is like a person with a yo-yo, okay? It goes up and down and up and down. Hopefully that person with a yo-yo is gonna walk up some stairs, meaning that uh, through the decades, the S&P 500, the Dow Jones is, is gonna keep growing. Well, there was a period of time like the year 2000 to 2012, that person with a yo-yo was walking across a flat surface, so to speak. Uh, the S&P, the Dow Jones, the stock market was basically uh, where it was uh, 12 years earlier. And they didn't make any rate of return uh, during that 12 year period. It went up and then down and up and down. And so you want to eliminate that. I had over 3000 clients in 13 Western states when I began back in 1974 till 1980. And then E.F. Hutton introduced Universal Life. And then 17 years later, they introduced Indexed Universal Life, not E.F. Hutton, but it was actually ING. And uh, I have never looked back because this has allowed my clients and they've never been happier than when they got their money out of the market starting in 1980, but also since 1997 to be able to participate when the market goes up and not lose when the market goes down. So how can that work? Volatility is what causes people the heartburn or the fear of loss. Uh, as Will Rogers once said, people get more concerned about the return of their money during downturns rather than the return on their money. So Cresmont, who does a lot of research, they studied the S&P 500, and that's a very common index or measuring tape. Uh, and they measured it from 1960 to 2010. That was a 50 year period. And this is what they found. If you could eliminate 100% of the loss years. Now, in a normal decade, you will have seven uh, gain years compared to three loss years. Uh, 2000 to 2010, there were five loss years and only five gain years. People with indexed universal life actually doubled their money during that time period. Their average return was 7.23%. Whereas people who had their money in the market, at the end of 2010, uh, they still only had about 62 or 63% of what they started with 10 years earlier. It took two more years until 2012 to get back to break even. 
And so they uh, said that if you eliminated 100% of the loss years, how much would you need of the up years to outperform the market? And they found that you would only need 25%, only one fourth of the up years uh, if you eliminated the loss years to outperform the market. And, uh, you know, I show people this and still I have advisors out there going, why would you not want to participate in, in those upswings? Why would you want to be capped? Well, because I want to not participate when the market goes down. I'm going to show you why, okay? So here's the, the myth. Uh, a lot of times, Wall Street uh, and these advisors will say, well, the market's uh, up 50% and then it goes down 50, up 50, down 50. It's been flat. That's what they say. It's a 0% rate of return. No, it isn't, okay? If the market goes up 50, down 50, up 50, down 50, and they say that's zero because you add up two plus 50s and two negative 50s, that equals zero. That is not correct. Let's show you what actually would happen if your money was in the market in the S&P. If you had $100,000 and the market went up 50%, your account value would be 150,000, right? Now the market uh, loses 50%. Well, 50% of 150 is what? 75,000. So if you lose 50%, you're down to 75,000. You've lost 25% of your original principal. If the market goes up 50 and then down 50, it's not zero, you're, you're down 25% from your starting point. If the market then went up 50%, that 75,000 with a 50% increase is only gonna grow to 112.5. Then if the market goes down 50%, you're down to 56,250. Are you getting it? Yeah, your real return was a negative 43.75. You lost nearly 44% of your original 100 grand. It's not zero. And so this is where a lot of people get confused. Uh, $100,000 in the S&P, uh, day one in the year 2000, uh, we saw that go down 38% uh, from 2000 to 2003, mainly as a result of the terrorist attacks. And then the market rebounded 83%. Now, I remember hearing some of the gurus on NBC say, oh, well, the market dropped 38%, but it's up 83%. And people are going, oh, wow, I should be way, way ahead. And they looked at their statements and they couldn't believe that they were just barely above where they started. The actual return was 1.92% was compounded annually during that time period because they didn't understand that if you have a 33% a, a, a loss, if 100,000 goes down to 67,000, 67,000 has to have a 50% gain. If you lose 50%, if 100 grand goes down to 50,000, 50,000 has to have a 100% gain to get back to break even. This is something a lot of advisors don't ever think about. So uh, the myth is in Wall Street, oh, if you just hang in there during the ups and the downs, you will average 12%. And yet Cresmont uh, and Dalbar has done studies and on 20 year periods, they said, if you had your money in the market in any 20 year period, you'd probably average around 9.14%. But that's not what's actually happening. And by the way, that's before tax. Uh, if you had a million dollar nest egg earning 9% in retirement, theoretically you ought to be able to pull out 90 grand a year without depleting principal, but that's not all your money. You pull out 90,000, you pay uh, 30,000 in taxes in a 33% tax bracket between federal and state. You're only netting 60,000 to buy gas and groceries. Uh, and then they charge you 1% asset management fees on that million. So you're really only netting maybe five. You're earning nine and you're netting five. Uh, in actuality, they said that most retirees are only earning about 3.8, sometimes only 3.49 because they're buying and selling at the wrong times. Most Americans, especially retirees, when the market starts to drop down 20, 25%, they go enough already and they sell low. And they wait, 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 wait till the market comes back up again and then they buy high. So the average American is only really earning about three and a half percent with their money in the market, which is pretty bad. That's what precipitated the 4% rule in the financial services industry. They 
The broker dealers only want uh, their, their advisors to illustrate a 4% payout, which is pretty pathetic. A million dollar nest egg only generating 40,000 a year of income. You have to pay tax on that 40. You're only netting in a 25% bracket, 30,000 or 3%. You subtract the 1% asset management fees on the million, you're only netting 2%. That's pretty ridiculous. That's unacceptable to me. So I like indexing. So let me explain indexing. If I have a million dollars of cash value in my index universal life insurance contract, uh, it's earning a general account portfolio rate in the insurance company. Now, anytime I feel bearish about America, like the economy is going to be going through a recession, I can just settle for the 4%, which is 40,000 and it's tax free. Uh, you can do that. And I've done that many times when we've been in recessions like 2002 and 2003. I, I didn't just sit there and earn zero because if the market goes down, you don't make anything, but you don't lose anything. Well, you can settle for that. But anytime you feel bullish about America, you can link your returns to an index or indices of your choice. And so all you're doing you're not telling the insurance company to take one dime of your million dollars and put it at risk in the market. That would be a variable life policy invested in an indexed mutual fund. You would lose 30 or 40%. No, I don't want to lose. My million has to stay safe in the insurance company earning in this example, four. What I'm giving up is that 4% interest, that 40,000. And I'm letting the insurance company fund an options budget so they have the wherewithal to pay me whatever the uh, S&P, let's say, does at the end of that year or whatever the linking period is, one year, or two year, or five year. And so if the market goes up eight, they'll pay me 80,000 on my million. If it goes up 12, they'll pay me 120,000. They may cap me at, at, at 10 or 12 or whatever, but see the trade-off is if the market crashes 20, 30, 40% like 2008, I still have my million. I didn't lose one dime. I didn't make anything, but I didn't lose. The options expire worthless. But because of that, I know that I will come out way better by not losing when the market goes down. Because what did they find out? That <laughs> you only need 25% of the up times to outperform the market if you eliminate the losses. That's the beauty behind indexing. So that million earning a general account portfolio rate, let's say a 4% allows you to be able to fund an options budget with the insurance company and they'll pay you if the market goes up, but if the market goes down, you don't lose. It's incredible. And the remaining money in your insurance policy comes back up to the million dollars. You're just simply allowing them to use the interest on your million. Does that make sense? So when you look at some of these time periods, like from 2007, before that 2008 crash, sometimes you may not earn any, anything. Zero is your hero here and here. But I would rather go through and end up with substantially more money here, 691,000 by the end of 2012, instead of not even being back to break even. That's the beauty behind indexing. So when you look at indexing options, you can check out on this uh, Three Dimensional Wealth channel. Be sure and subscribe and check out a lot of the other educational videos. I'm passionate about uh, providing insights into opportunities that maybe you didn't know existed before. Uh, many of our professionals that we point our students to uh, may diversify our clients into 40% into a one-year high cap, maybe 11% cap. 40% in a two year uh, and 20% in, in a five year or 40% in the one year, because the average return over 20 year periods has been 11.3%. That's pretty incredible. You earn 11, you're gonna net over 10. The cost of the insurance only uses about one percentage point of your rate of return. I'd rather earn 11 and net 10 tax free cash on cash than have to earn 15 or 16% in the market after tax to net nine or 10. Does that make sense? So folks, uh, sometimes uh, our advisors will, will tell their clients, hey, let's diversify 50% into a two year, 50% into a five year, because they're younger people and they have those types of time periods, especially when the market is down, that spills opportunity. You may wanna lock in and, and be able to experience a five year gain the average returns have been 14% on those. You wanna see actual rates of return? 
Here are some samples of statements of clients where they've been diversified in, in five different indices. A million dollars allocated maybe 200,000 in each of five different indices. That's how you diversify into superior strategies, okay? 14.89, 10.25, 15.07, 8, uh, 13. You average those, it's over 10%. Same thing with this statement. We do this all the time, and there are some years and some periods where you will look over a 12-year period like this client, and the average return has been 12.88% tax-free because they did not lose when the market went down, and they made money when the market went up, and they were able to capitalize, like in March of 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic caused the market to drop 30%. They linked to a one-year point-to-point with no cap, and many people uh, locked in gains that year of 61.33%. You can do this. This is how you can learn more about this incredible strategy. I wanna gift you a copy of this 300 page book. It's called The Laser Fund, How to Diversify and Create the Foundation for a Tax-Free Retirement. Eliminate the losses uh, on your retirement account, okay? Get your money out of the market, out of those IRAs or 401ks. Uh, you're not gonna be in a lower tax bracket when you retire if you're a saver. So here's how you claim your free copy. You simply go to laserfund.com or click on the link below, L-A-S-E-R fund.com. And this is a 300 page book. You contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling. I require some skin in the game. I will cover the rest of that cost because that, that, that won't cover it all. And I will pay for the book. I'll fire out a copy to you. Uh, it has 200 pages of charts and graphs and explanations in the left brain side. If you're a right brain learner, you flip it over to this one and it has 62 actual client stories of how the laser fund is an incredible instrument, not just for retirement, college funding for your kids and grandkids, uh, working capital for business, emergency funds, real estate management, estate planning, and on and on and on. This is about you and your brighter future. So go to laserfund.com. Let me fire out a copy to you. There's options there if you like to listen and learn, watch and learn. There's even master classes and actual educational webinars that we do on a regular basis. And you can even schedule an appointment online to talk to an IUL specialist to help you see how this can be applied with your numbers in your particular set of circumstances. This is about you and your brighter future.